reason for doing this. Tsuburagi seems to be finally willing to break, ready to break some of the taboos in this world. I just hope she understands what she gets all into. Can you hear me? Want a status update? How far is it till we reach Area D? How long till the point of no return? That's no with a K. Current estimate is 32. Estimate is 32 minutes. The unique fields here are a little unstable, but overall the ocean here are pretty calm. We is pretty calm. Grammar error. Ocean here is pretty calm. Some quirks here and there don't really hurt anybody. If anything, it helps them. Earth deserve Mother Nature. Wouldn't you agree, Sumeragi? Hmm. What's wrong? Everyone, just so we're clear, no matter what happens, I need you all to stay calm and focused. Understand? Hey, we're not kids. We can handle ourselves fine. Maybe we all can. I wasn't going to say anything at, at first, but something feels off, just, just feels off about this. But an unidentified squad heading our way. The native field must have thrown off my weedings. Where's the successors? What the? They're in mobile suits. Are they with the Earth Federation forces? I don't know. They're not transmitting any sort of ID. They're not responding to any of our signals either. And they're shooting at us! Did somebody send them the memo that Andesco is a Federation ship too? I think it's safe to say these guys aren't military. All units prepare to engage! All right, objectives. Beat all enemies, ally battleship is defeated, that's either one. And a certain point condition is not mentioned. Taking out there is defeat. Two more, these particular two supporting units. Within, um, by turn five, once they show up. All right, and I can only s oh, now I have to actually think really tactically because now I've only got five ships I can send out, or seven ships I can send out. Bang Ray, definitely. All right, Toby is pretty heavily leveled up. I need, oh, I need to level up my gains, tanking and blocking. Um, boost of the want more, uh. I don't know what we need. Um, let's bring the Huckabean. Guard Diver is really useful as a secondary healer. The Bang Rays are occupied. I like Mike Gain as just straight up freaking tanky butt kicker. Um, uh, 
Let's do the super arts level, level 13. Let's go. Ryoko. Bring out the Quan, because I actually need to level him up a bunch. Hey, stop it already. If you're mad because you're trespassing or something, you'll be out of here soon enough. I promise. I don't think they can hear us at all, Ryoko. I'm pretty sure those units are pounded by AIs. You mean they're unmanned? I'm starting to get the impression they might have been deployed to try and keep us out of Area D. But it's not the Federation forces who are calling the shots. Who's setting those things after us? We can figure that out later. Right now, folks, how we're going to break through. All units, be extremely careful. We don't know what the enemy might be planning to do here. Unit, this area got a whole lot more fishing now that these guys are set in the picture. Alright, so... Yeah, these are, well, these are the GN4s from the, uh, uh, 14s from the, uh, DLC mission. Okay. So that's interesting. It gives you actually a chance to try these out before running into them later. Um, so you know what the capabilities are. Well, these guys basically being mobile dolls. Should we be the, um, getting the gun, the, uh... Zeta Gundam robots. Then you get to the uh, uh, Gundam wing robots. Let's kind of wheel the formation a little bit. I actually probably should have brought the, the sniper from the. Uh, somebody now. Holy cow. Okay. Now you're an AI and you're a model we've, we've seen before, so demo off. Because you know. The dialogue this attack. can't fly. Okay. So that's actually really useful to know for these fights. Like, hey, I want to pick dudes who can fly. Otherwise, they have to move through the move through the land and water and fight their usual levels. Which also means that since both these guys are crappy at fighting in water, you have to use this accordingly for their um, special abilities. That is good to know. Come at me. Oh. Let's change, let, let's show the cutscenes so we can change the music. Almost got you down. It goes a crit. Let's finish. One of the reasons why I'm glad I brought you is that once I get your attack, it to level up your uh, micro missile attack. I can just clean out this wreck shop.
There's a lot of energy. I think I'm sick of the railgun gecko. Uh, it. Does still just done damage and again just ammo. Given that enemies are in unmatched pack unmanned machine, their movement should be clear to set patterns, making it possible for you to analyze their strategy. Wow Nine, you're really motivated today. As a fellow AI myself, I'm using this battle as an opportunity to display my clearly superior programming. You're definitely in it to win it, aren't you? Well, are you in it to lose it? Nuh-uh, definitely not. In fact, watching you has really inspired me to fight hard today myself. With oh, actually, I have the energy. Think of the energy recharge ability. All right. All right, game. Let's get started. No need to go easy on them. They're mindless AI. Unlike you, you've got it, Mito. I'll will win this fight. Fight. I'll show them what my super AI is truly capable of. Attack yet? Let's move forward a little bit. No. No. Oop. Oh well. Finish him off. Work on leveling him up. There we go, you're level 12! Level up. No one's taking damage yet. Finish you off, so that you can level up some. I assure you, you other AIs aren't at fault here. The ones who are controlling you who are all controlling you all who are wrong. But it doesn't mean I can step aside either. There's an important mission to get done at all costs. Hello everybody! 
Yes, it is. All right, let's change the music again. first attack of the, of the mission. Guys up, throw the guys up. All right, cap ship versus tank. Right, let's use foreseeability so we don't get you know, taken in the face. This squad is here to stop us from putting out AD secrets. They could very well be working for them. They got a barrier. Keep that in consideration. What the? Harry, what's going on? Magnetism, it's suddenly gotten it's suddenly getting a lot stronger. Our radar and sensors are both offline. Well that's a first. It's coming. Gate? Wait, something's coming out of it. Are those what I think they are? No way! I'm off seeing things? What the heck are they? Based on their shape, they would appear to be dragons. You know what dragons are, Nine? Yes, a very bank contains a wide array of data on the universe who has myths and legends. Well, they're not mythical anymore, that's for sure. Well, that just simplified things a bunch. The Unmind enemy, enemy Spartan has been eliminated. Well, that, that's great and all, but they're coming for us now. Are they crazy? They're just going hog wild. Hey, Mito, do you, uh, normally see these sort of things here in this world? Nope! Never seen or heard anything like them. They must use the gate over here there to cross into this area. My instrument still detects instability in this space. Oh no, what do we have to deal with now? What, what is that? A ship? No, a submarine! It's also there too. Yeah, it's a Gundam? What's the situation? Ah, full metal panic! Just in time for the new series! What's the situation? I need a status report now. Captain. Tuatha de Danon has made a rapid ascent back to the surface as an emergency response. Our right, current position is unknown, but more importantly, wow, look at the sea. That's so blue, isn't it? 
priorities. Hathaway, are you all right? Yeah, I, I think so. Where are we? Wait. Hathaway, Hathaway Noah, son of Bright Noah from Hathaway's Flash. The anime, the, the manga where he kind of goes to start his own Neo Zeon terrorist organization thing and ends up taking on um, uh, Rondo Bell. He ended up with 12th of D Data. Th there's a story there. I've detected other than my vessel and also. Are those dragons? Whatever they are, they're definitely going after us. So yeah, th this is why Cross Angie doesn't fit in here. Is like the moment we actually run into the dragons, which are the principal conflict in Cross Ange. One of the the major fights and things in Cross Ange is giant robots fighting dragons. When they show up here, everyone else is agreeing to respond to like, wait, wait, what the hell? This doesn't fit in with our universe at all! Fire Squadron also appears to be trying to confirm our affiliation. A little bit of talk at least, open our channels and establish communication. Aye, Captain. This is Commander Tesla Tesla Captain of the Assault Landing Submarine Quatha de Danon, and with the Mithril West Pacific Fleet. Please explain the current situation here. This is Harry of the Thundisco B. Um, the hell, the hell, what the hell we know? <laughs> I actually missed the line there. I think what she's saying, she doesn't seem to know what's going on here either. Not even anything with the dragons. Greeting, Captain. I made it very close, you know. Captain did not just go be. As it stands, those creatures are attacking anything and every, everything and anything to get their claws on. We have first order of business is to make our way out of here, and I ask that you help us with that. That doesn't really explain much. Why should we? Probably because she doesn't have time to talk. Because freaking dragons! Copy that, Captain. We'll assume a defensive position and commence fighting those creatures. Thank you, Captain. I appreciate your cooperation. Hmm. This thing you're not telling me, Captain? We'll talk about it later. Right now, let's worry about those dragons. Fair enough. All right, let's begin the submarine. Bring the submarine closer to land and deploy the special response team. Hi, Captain. Man, pinch me. I've got to be dreaming. The ocean here is so blue. Why are you talking about how blue the ocean is when freaking dragons are trying to kill you? Do you think that would be a higher priority in certain circumstances? Maybe that magnetic storm would make a bigger number for us and blew us, uh, not blew us up, just up to heaven. I don't think it's heaven because dragons. I'm pretty sure dragons don't blow up from heaven. We could have ended up in a parallel dimension or something. It's funny that you're the one who's figured out exactly what's going on before anyone else did. Hmm. What do you make of the situation, Sergeant? Honestly, I don't have a clue. One thing I know is sure those flying lessons up there don't think too highly of us. But that leaves us with only one choice. Indeed, wherever we are, enemies come knocking, it's our job to answer the door with a bang. You can fight Hathaway? I don't know. But at the same time, I know I've got to do something or else we're all screwed here. For all dragon chow. That kid is seriously unlucky. He thinks he's coming to test something and boom, we turn from this mess. I don't envy him. No credit though, he got guts. Must be because he's been around war for so long. I guess that makes him and me pretty similar, huh? Well, I won't put you two together. I know he doesn't have to think of Skinner in. Doesn't change the fact that you have to be strong to have battle alive. You understand that, don't you, Hathaway? Yeah, of course I do. I, I don't plan on dying here. That's what I like to hear. Alright, I... AI or Al, let's do this. We shouldn't leave Konami back behind back in the den for too long. Yes, sir. Look, the others are getting ready to fight. Yeah, it looks like we've got a, a Gundam and some sort of smaller ground unit with them. They're gonna be able to pull their own weight here. We're not gonna be able to talk down all talk down all those creatures. We'll have to fight them all. I was not gonna read all the hums. Ah, Sensuna, I know what you're thinking. But right now, all we do right now is try to defend ourselves. I know. A unit switch your attack. However, be aware that enemy strength remains unlocked. Use extreme caution to engage with The battle better get going, I suppose. Open fire! Our only objective right now is to stay alive. Beat Galleon and Scooter Crash Dragons within three turns after they appear. Or, in other words, within a turtle, total of five turns. Awfully conversational there, objective text. 
Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.